Hey guys, finally welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm sorry I had to split it up, but oh god, that last episode was running long. And this is the fourth time I am recording this because Kentesia ridiculously ruined my audio four times in a row. So I'm using DX Story this time. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> this kind of stinks because I forgot she sort of let off with Gyarados. Gyarados has Dragon Rage, Dragon Pulse, uh, I guess Surf, and I don't know what else. Usually he doesn't survive this long. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I should have done this off screen, honestly. It was dumb of me. Ah! Ouchies. No, you're gonna hear beeping now. Anyway. Dragon Rage apparently is her favorite attack for him, even though I'm relatively certain he has Dragon Pulse and Surf, so... Ah, annoying beeping. Stop it. Anyway, Gyarados is really easy to defeat as long as you use any Electric-type attack in the world on him. Anyway, she will send out a Dragonair next. She's got two of these little bastards. Ah, this is so annoying. I can't see all of either screen because I have them stretched to different sizes. I have to put them in different windows in order to see both. Anyway, easily enough, you just take uh, Ice Beams to our Dragonairs. I would prefer if I was on equal level with them, because as you can see, their special defense allows them to survive a single Ice Beam from a Pokemon without the same type of attack bonus, so that kind of stinks, so she's going to pro- yep, she healed. Anyway, every one of her Dragonairs, uh, rather, both of her Dragonairs, not every one, have Thunder Wave, Slam, and Dragon Pulse. The fourth attack, I don't know what it is because in all four recordings so far, she has not used the fourth attack, whatever it is. So neither one of them has Thunderbolt. I know that, or I should spam that against Vaporeon. But as you can see, Dragon Pulse right there. That's her TM move. 90 power, 10 power points, and I think chance to flinch. Special attack, though, so luckily she doesn't get the added bonus of Dragonair's main stat being attack, so... Anyway, takes care of that. Doo -doo. Her next Pokemon she sends out will be another Dragonair. Which, again, take care of the same exact ways before. Boom. Really, um, I remember when I originally played this game, my best luck with this, if I didn't have a good Ice type, was to use Machoke. Just continually use Cross Chop and you win. Simple. Alright, well, since this is the last time I'm probably going to be using Vaporeon in this gym, I don't mind taking an extra hit. Come on, survive. Survive, you son of a bitch. Survive! Awesome. Alright, ow. Ow, ow. Ow. Sorry, I was just cracking my knuckles. Any who's all, the only thing I can say that's wrong about the X-Story is that I don't have a timer that naturally goes with it, so I'd probably have to use one on my phone to figure out when I'm going too far. Alright, her next and her main is Kingdra. The reason I am sending out Cough Weezing, rather, is to soak up some damage to heal, uh, Ampharos. Because pretty much any attack that Claire's Kingdra uses will kill Weezing in one shot. Kingdra is quite fast, actually. Very, pretty damn good special attack, too. Its attacks are Dragon Pulse, I believe, Hydro Pump, and Hyper Beam, and Smoke Screen. Basically, the most powerful Water-type move in the game, which you just missed, thank god. And, uh, yeah. Okay, good, because if any of her attacks hit coughing, or wheezing rather, he dies, so I might as well just do as much damage as I can now, since he won't do substantial damage to Kendra at all. Yeah, I know, it's cheap, but he wasn't going to survive long enough to do enough damage anyway, so... That's actually one of the main reasons I kept self-destruct on him in the first place. <laughs> you can't decide to win. No one decides to lose. I actually have expected her to use Hyper Beam here. But it doesn't matter since you're dead. You're gonna die now. You're dead now. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, crap. Please survive. Oh, you bitch. Okay, that's definitely new. 
player has never used the full restore before, in my experience. Okay, by all means, use the le the <laughs> attack that has less power. I don't even oh, you fucking ass! I'm actually annoyed by that. Uh, my entire strategy revolves upon Ampharos surviving. Uh. And of course, Hydro Pump is hitting. Fucking recording curse, I swear to fucking god. And bye bye. All because she had to be a little bitch. Alright, go out there next meat shield. Probably time for me to heal the one that matters. That was irritating. Yes, by all means, do that. I don't care. I don't care whatsoever. Come on. Just kill him already! There we are. Now! Remember this one that you just killed? Well, I'm going to do the smart thing and use Thunder Wave this time. Aw, oh, you asshole. Yeah, she likes to do that. But luckily, I like to do that, so... Alright, well, I know no matter what... He will survive another Thunderbolt, so... Let me raise my special defense to absorb more than one Hydro Pump without having to heal. Or, you know, you could do that. Which frees me up to attack you, and that's perfect. Oddly enough, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Alright, come on! Do enough damage to kill him and end this furiousness! Yay! And level for uh, Infras, woo! And Claire the Troll has been defeated. There is no mistake, you vile women, you. Ah, oh, great, the Dragon Master Challenge, just what I need. Suit, so, yeah, that's the most cop outy way of not giving someone a badge ever. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the Pokemon Center, heal, and get my Mantine, or whatever yeah, whatever his name is, which I called off screen. He knows Surf, Waterfall, and Whirlpool, because we need Whirlpool. The Scyther's going in the PC, and we'll be back here in just a second, so we'll see you guys then. Okay, we're back, and with the magic of editing, we now have Mantine in our party. And his only, only purpose is to get rid of whirlpools. And to climb waterfalls. Come on, Vaporeon. Let's go! No, no! Damn you, Magikarp, why? Oh, come on! Magikarp the Troll. Anyway, we're going to Dragon's Den. There's a couple items to find in here, none of which I really care about. The music is amazing, and there is one trainer which you have to fight, which is right here. How dare you enter uninvited? I did not enter uninvited. Anyway, the other two trainers in here are actually relatively weak and not at all worth their time. One with a level 33 Horsey and 35 Seedra, and then a double battle with a pair of twins, each with a level 35 Dratini. Neither one of them worth your time or effort whatsoever. Better off just running away from Wild Magikarp, honestly. It's less annoying, and plus you're going to pop a repel for that. And you don't need to fight those other trainers at all, so boom. It's honestly a waste of time, and I'm not going to do it. So, if you want to see it, oh well. My LP, not yours. You don't matter at all, fans. How dare you? <laughs> Please note that was sarcasm. Please don't unsub. Anyway, uh, 
No! Hurry for level 20 magic harps. They're getting bigger and more furious. Anyway. Huge swirl of wa water. A huge swirl of water makes no sense. Cross the water, you asshole. Anyway, I'm going to pop a repel right here since there's some more surfing to be done. Anyway, I'm not going straight into the dragon's den yet, which is right here. I'm going to go grab an item over this way first, which is actually the original Dragon Tamer's quest that Claire gives you in the original game's uh, gold and silver. You have to find this dragon's fang, then she'll concede you're the better trainer and give you dragon's breath. In Crystal, it introduced this whole test of your feelings toward Pokemon, and she still gives you dragon's breath. In this game, uh, who's this Vance guy? Hoot hoot stuffer, achieve liftoff, blob, don't care. How can you reach me in this cave? Uh, anyway, there are certain ways you have to answer in order to pass this test, so, yep, just follow what I do. No need to explain why you came, Claire sent you, girl's handful, sorry, must ask you, answer only questions, ready, Pokemon are to you, friend. Anyway, helps you to win battles, training. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anyone. Most important for raising Pokemon, love. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, both. There you go. You need to seem like you care, which I don't. Anyway, he, he approves you, and then immediately Claire walks in and assumes you failed, because she's a bitch. You passed? I can't, what the, did no! Even you haven't been approved. This child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Sweet. Admit defeat or confer the rising badge, or must it- No! Don't inform that guy! I, I won't take the, the- don't- No, don't be intimidated by him, we can take him down together! These guys are so easily intimidated by that murdering bastard. Anyway... Reflect upon what is it- blah blah blah. Run away! Anyway, he tells you about Lugia living in the World Islands, but you can't get him until you get the Silver Wing, which in this game you only get in uh, Kanto. But why does why is everybody so afraid of that murdering tyrant? He's defeatable. Every tyrant is. Some you just need the courage and faith to believe you can do it. Yeah, I'm taking the easy way out. Shit. We. Yay! Script of phone call times. Gotta hold of something neat. Swing by the lab. Swear to God, if he's drunk again and he shows me a picture of... No, never mind. That's too much information. I promise not to divulge information about that drunken incident, and I will not do it to you guys. Any whoozle? Uh, no more magic carp. No more magic carp. No more magic carp! Anyway, on Saturdays, you can find Santos here. He used to give you the black glasses in the original games, but in this game, he gives you soft sand, which is what the, the trio that I fought earlier used to give you. Anyway, I don't know why they changed him to soft sand. I mean, he, it's because he's standing on sand, but seriously. Anyway, eh, and the repulse effects were off. But anyway, uh, anyway, in the next episode, I'm going to go to the route to the south, fight as many traders as I can, and get the Master Ball from Professor Elm, but we will not be going to the Pokemon League in the next episode. In the next episode, I'm going to go down there, get the Poke get what we're going to get from Professor Elm, but then we're going to take a vacation to the Savari Zone because I have earned it. Like, you guys think I haven't earned it? You, you think I haven't earned a bit of vacation? Well, um, my LP, not yours, you don't matter. Ha 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 ha! Superiority of being the recorder and not the recordee. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Anyway, uh, whatever that route is, Professor Elm, and then Safari Zone, and then Elite Four. Anyway, without further ado, Thank you for watching, this has been Bishop Butter signing off. If you liked the episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure to leave me a comment, you guys. Remember, those three pictures are all links. One to Pokemon, one to FTB, one to my channel. Click them if you want to. Have a nice day, guys.